Do you wanna learn how to start an eBay business or start reselling items online, but you have no idea what to buy and sell? Well, this video is gonna be perfect for you because today I'm gonna to share with you the top 20 niches and items that you could find from thrift stores to flip online. I'm talking about eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, and even other places to make some really good money. If you don't know who I am, my name's Steve and I've been reselling on eBay and Amazon and tons of places for over seven years. I quit my job working at the Cracker Barrel, delivering pizzas, I was broke as a joke, and I was able to build my business by going out and picking up all different types of items to resell online. So in this video, I'm gonna go through 20, literally 20 different niches and categories that you can go out and start finding today. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first niche or category that you should be on the lookout for when you are at a thrift store is ties. Now ties aren't something that is gonna make you like rich, right? You're not gonna go out and make thousands of dollars a month selling ties. But ties are great because most people are passing them up. Most people have no idea that they have any value. And a lot of ties can sell for 20, 30, $40 if you find the right items. And just so you know, during this video, I'm gonna dive in deep as much as I can. But if you wanna go even further and learn about these specific categories, I will put some links down below to other videos and guides that I've created to help you dive deep. But for example, on the screen right now, we have a brand called Hermes, H-E-R-M-E-S, -E -E and this sold for $199. Now that was brand new with tags, but there's tons of ties out there that can literally sell for 30, 40, 50 bucks. Just go to the eBay sold listings. I've sold these ties all day long for 50 to $100. It's a really high-end Italian brand. So go to the tie section, ties like Brooks Brothers, Ralph Lauren, uh, there's so many of them. Anything with weird prints, anything that looks unique can make really good money. So ties is niche number one. Number two, when you walk into a thrift store, this could be the Salvation Army. This could be a local mom and pop store. This could be Savers, Value Village, Salvation Army. I think I mentioned that already. Go to the electronic area. Now there's tons of items you can find from headphones to speakers to DVD players to musical instruments. And on the screen right here, we have a Yamaha keyboard synthesizer that sold for $129. Thrift stores are known to price electronic items incorrectly. Now, when it comes to electronics, you wanna test, test, and test some more. So don't buy an item if you're unfamiliar with it, if you haven't tested it, because that's gonna to lead to a return. Now again, the risk is a little higher because these items could be broken or not working properly, but if you understand that type of stuff and you're willing to test it, you can make a lot of money going to thrift stores flipping electronics. Next up is the linens section. I'm talking about you know sheets, blankets, even pillows. A lot of people pass up this area in the thrift store. And one of my good friends, Brandon, he inspired me to share this. He actually went to our local savers. This was probably, I don't know, a couple months ago. And he found a really cool set of Ninja Turtle uh, linens. And I looked it up and to my surprise, you know, some of these items are selling for, you know, 20, 30, 50, 60 bucks. This Ninja Turtle sheet right here in blanket or it looks like it's a blanket and a couple flat sheets sold for $142. So be on the lookout for items like this. I mean, you'll be surprised, but a lot of this stuff is nostalgic. It's rare. Look up Pendleton blankets. You'll be surprised how much those items are selling for. The next niche or category that you want to look out for at thrift stores are DVDs. Now, used DVDs sell, but the best ones are the ones that are older and sealed brand new sealed. And I actually found this set recently. I shared it in, actually, I think I have them right here. Uh, here's one of them at least. Oh, here's both of them. I shared this in a previous video, uh, but I ended up paying, uh, this one was six and this one was, well, they were both six bucks, um, but I got 30% off at Savers. And this set alone is selling for, let's see, $79 plus $3 shipping. There's so much money to be made with DVDs. And I actually found uh, this one, as well at my local savers for $2.99. This is selling for over $100 on eBay right now. This is a Boston Red Sox set. So keep an eye out for DVDs. A lot of people pass them up. They don't think they're valuable. I sell a lot of them on Amazon because they go for a premium and they sell much quicker, but DVDs can sell like hotcakes. Yes, it's old technology. 
Yes, everything's going towards streaming and new technology, but don't pass up on things like board games or electronics, things that are outdated, thinking, eh, nobody wants it. I'm telling you, people want to relive their memories, and there's a lot of profits to be made with DVDs. The next category is shoes. There's so many various shoes that you could flip on eBay, and my good friend Tino, the sole advisor, we actually created a couple guides together. He sold over $200,000 flipping shoes on eBay. He actually created a bunch of guides how to sell men's shoes, women's shoes. I'll put some links down below if you want to check that out. But he's been my inspiration for selling shoes. And there's so many different brands, hundreds of brands that you could flip. Shoes are one of the best items to buy from thrift stores if you want to have an average selling price of $50, $70, $100. Now, they are going to cost a little bit more depending on where you live and what part of the country you're in. But Allen Edmonds, this is a great example. This actually sold for $299. And a lot of Allen Edmonds you could sell for $70, $100, $130. This is a great example of a brand that you want to be on the lookout for when going to thrift stores. Now, you're going to have to know your condition. You're going to have to know the sizes that sell. Go to the sold listings, do your research, check out some of Tino's guides down below. But shoes are a fantastic item to flip on eBay from thrift stores. And this is actually an item that you could really dive deep, deep into and build a full-time business out of just like my buddy Tino. Now, speaking of buddies, my good friend Vinny, the Toy Master, I'll put a picture of him right here. He's been on my channel a bunch of times. He makes a full-time income selling toys on eBay. Yeah, toys, used toys, all different types of toys. I'll put some links to videos and guides down below as well. But toys are a great item to buy at thrift stores. A lot of people pass them up. They think they're trash. They think they're junk. Like a lot of items I'm gonna be sharing in this video, people just think they're worthless. They don't think that there's any value. They think they're outdated. Who would want it? There's collectors. There are people out there who want this stuff. Study the sold listings, take notes in this video, and make sure to dive deep. Toys are a great example of an item that a lot of people pass up at at a thrift store and they walk out empty handed because they're like, oh, there's no, you know, there's no video games. So this place is worthless, right? No, no, no. Dive deep into these various categories. Here's a lot of, uh, you know, various toys that sold for 285 bucks. Now, this is obviously something rare and you're not going to come across stuff like this all the time. You know, but Vinny, he does anywhere from three to 6,000 a month selling toys and he, he works a full-time job as well. So definitely check out some of his stuff. I'll put some links down below. Next up is stuffed animals plush items. I mean, check this out. We got Patty the Cow, Squish Mallow, five inch, hard to find. I don't even know what this is. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend. I went through the sold listings and filed something that was expensive, but I've flipped so many stuffed animals and plush items on eBay, if it's brand new, some of these items you could sell on Amazon, but usually you're gonna wanna you know, stick to selling on eBay with items like this because you won't find a listing. So many different stuffed animals. I mean, literally all you have to do is just type in stuffed animals into the eBay sold listings. And what I like to do is you know, maybe put a price of $50, hit that, scroll down to the sold listings. This is how I study the sold listings. And I start to look at the various items that are selling. I mean, check out all these items that are selling over 50 bucks. And this is all the same day based on this recording of the video. So don't pass up on stuffed animals. Again, if I had more time, I would dive into this. I have videos on my channel that share the top 10, 20 stuffed animals. I have some guides, I have resources. I'll put some stuff down below, but don't pass up on stuffed animals. There's people who make a full-time living selling these types of items. Next up is board games. And I actually just recorded a video about my top 20 board games to sell on eBay. So I'll put a link to that down below as well. I'm telling you, if you guys haven't already, smash that like button and leave a comment and just let me know what item are you excited to flip first? Because this video needs to get out to more people because it could definitely help a complete be beginner and even someone who's been doing this for a while. Board games can make a ton of money. You know, my best, well, my, my two best board game flips was Dark Tower and Hero Quest. Look those up. But also board games like Seinfeld. This sold for $34.99. Look for board games that are brand new sealed. Lots of money. But also, some of the rare, older Milton Bradley board games can make a lot of money. Just make sure there's all the pieces there. And even some of the rare ones like Dark Tower, Hero Quest, um, Splat, all different types of items. They don't even have to be complete. Access and Allies, you could sell the parts for really good money. So board games is a great place to go at the thrift store. Next up is gonna be hats, especially the snapbacks, the vintage hats. Here's an example of a vintage 19, 1980s member and fisherman products uh, made in the USA trucker hat, $224. 
If you go on YouTube or you're searching for what are the best items to sell on eBay or thrift stores, everybody's gonna say hats. Now they're hard to come across and you're not gonna find them every single day, but there's so many hats that you can buy from thrift stores to flip. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different types of hats. Do not pass up on the hats. Next up is books. I love selling books and uh, this is a book that's selling for over $300. It's called the Book of Knowledge, the Keys of Enoch, E-N-O-C-H. You'll have to look that up, but this one's selling for over 300 bucks. You can see the saver sticker still on it for 399. I love going to places like thrift stores to find books. Now, I, I prefer to sell books on Amazon. And if you wanna learn about how my best friend and roommate, Avery, has sold over a million dollars of books already in the last year, this is my buddy right here, I'll put a link down below to a free webinar that you can check out and you can learn about the five steps to starting a book business. But I love books. I taught my mom how to retire. I put a picture of my mom right here. At 66 years old, she sells books. She does three to 5,000 a month. Books are an, a, a fantastic item to look at. Again, most people are gonna say, oh, they're trash, they're worthless. I tried looking for books and I couldn't find any. Yeah, because 90% of books are gonna be crap. You gotta find the 10%. So I use a scanning app on my phone to scan the books. Again, check out the webinar down below um, and, and you can learn more about that. But I love books. Actually, books are probably one of my favorite items to flip them thrift from thrift stores and literally competition is like non-existent. Next up is gonna be glassware. Glassware is an area that I'm pretty weak in to be 100% transparent. It's not the, you know, the number one thing I go after just because there's so many other niches that I you know, love to go after like board games and clothing and I'm gonna share a lot more in this video, but there are people who make thousands of dollars every single month, every single month flipping glassware. They know a lot more than I do and you know, it's just, it's a whole niche of its own. Study the glassware niche. You can go to eBay, type in glassware. I've got some videos that I've recorded about this. Again, I'm not an expert, but one example right here is vintage Pyrex. A lot of this stuff could sell for a ton of money, a ton of money from thrift stores. And if you're at the thrift store and you're at the right place at the right time, you can make a lot of money. So this is $69.99 right here. These, uh, just the set of three Pyrex, I mean, I don't know what the value is in it. It's probably because it's rare. You can't come across it anymore. It's probably from like the 70s. It's probably nostalgic to somebody who wants to relive their past and cook like they cooked 30, 40 years ago, right? So there's a lot of money to be made. You're gonna have to do your own research on this one, but this is a, an area, a niche, a category that people swear by. So definitely look into this. Next up is appliances such as blenders or juicers or anything to do with the kitchen. There's a lot of different items that you can mess around with in this category. I mean, all different types of things from panini makers um, to coffee makers, so many things that you could flip on eBay from the appliance area. And I wanna share one example right here. Uh, this was actually a flip that I had a couple years ago. This was an Omega juicer. This isn't my specific listing, but I flipped an Omega juicer before and I actually sold it for $200 locally just because I didn't wanna pay the eBay fees. Look out for Omega, look out for Vitamix, uh, especially the, the, uh, the silver uh, vintage ones. Those could sell for a lot of money. I've made videos about that in the past, but yeah, don't pass up on this type of stuff right here. Next up is vintage t-shirts or t-shirts in general, right? Now, clothing is a huge category. If you walk into the thrift store, what are the top two things you're gonna see? You're gonna see clothing, you're gonna see books. They typically you know, have the most SKUs. I love both of those categories, but the thing with clothing is you've really gotta dive deep into the various niches because there's so many different clothing items from you know, ties to shirts. You know, I'm not even gonna spoil it because I got some more niches I'm gonna share in this video, but there's so many niches, but one in particular that you wanna become acquainted with are vintage clothing, especially vintage t-shirts. And here's a Harley t-shirt right here that sold for, well, took a best offer under $74.95. Matter of fact, I was in my local Savers the other day and I had a guy come up to me and said, Steve, wow, I can't believe I saw you here. I said, yeah, I know. I." You know, I'm back in Connecticut from Florida and we were chit-chatting. He found two vintage Harley t-shirts uh, a couple towns over that sold for, I think, three to $500 each. I have another kid. He's a, he's a cool guy who was always at my thrift store. He sits there all day long waiting for clothes to come out on the racks. He found a bunch of vintage items as well that are selling for, it's all this vintage WWE stuff that's selling for 500, 600, uh, Steve Austin or whatever his name is, right? I'm not big into that stuff. Uh, these things could sell for a lot of money. Get acquainted with the vintage t-shirts. Next up is gonna be sporting items at a thrift store. 
baseball bats, baseball gloves, uh, stuff for skiing, snowboarding, anything to do with sporting can make you a lot of money. And I talk about this all the time. Depending on where you live, right, maybe in the Northeast or down South, you're gonna have different advantages and opportunities that your competition or people in the other parts of the country aren't gonna have. Like, for example, I'm in Connecticut. Compared to, let's just say, Austin, Texas, where my good friend, the Bonafide Hustler lives, he's gonna have a lot more opportunities with sporting items because it's warmer all year long and people are much more active. But sporting items can make you a lot of money. And this is a topic I could dive into for hours. But one example to be on the lookout for is gloves. I mean, here's a rare one that you're probably never gonna find. But this sold for over 200 bucks. This is a rare rolling item. I don't know too much about it. I was going through the sold listings, but keep an eye out for baseball bats, baseball gloves. Mizuno is one of my favorite brands for baseball gloves. They sell all the time for 40, 50, 60 bucks. So be on the lookout in the sporting area. If you know sports, if you know anything about specific categories or niches within the sports, keep an eye out because you guys know this stuff is expensive. The next category that I want to talk about is sport coats, blazers, and suits. Now, I wrote a whole program. I created a whole program, an ebook, videos, and everything. It's called Blazing Profits that dives into everything you need to know about making a full time income selling blazers, sport coats, and suits. I'll link that up down below. Again, you don't need it. You can check the sold listings. You can go out to thrift stores. You can study it yourself. But there's a lot of money to be made in these items. Now, the thing with blazers, sport coats, and suits, and this is a Briani, very high end Italian brand that sold for $379. The thing is, you're going to have to take some time to get a nice dress for a mannequin. You're gonna to have to take some time to get a clip-on tie, to put a nice dress shirt under it, to take a bunch of pictures, to make it look clean, to make it stand out. And blazers, sport coats, and suits, they're gonna be a lot slower of a sell, right, versus a board game or a book or some of the other items I'm gonna share, ties. Um, they're a bit slower of a sale. But the awesome thing about these items is when they flip, ooh, do they flip hard? I mean, some of these items can flip for 100, 200, 300 bucks. Right, so be on the lookout for these items. Again, if you're new, if you're a beginner, if you don't have a lot of money, I'd stick to some of these other items that are gonna turn quicker. But if you're trying to get your average sale price up to 50, 80, 100, you're gonna wanna focus on some of these high dollar items that might be a little harder to get into. Right, compared to the next niche of video games, there's so much competition. They sell very quick, but it's hard to come across. You're not gonna find them all the time. A lot of times thrift stores are pricing the video game stuff freaking way out of this world. And that's one of the things that have been annoying me lately is on some of these niches like video games, the prices are so high. And some of you guys might be watching this video saying, hey, you missed this niche, you missed that niche, you missed that category, what about that? I'm trying to share the ones that you can get into, that a beginner could get into, that anybody could get into. They might be a little harder, they might take a little more knowledge, a lot of people might think they're trash, but that's why I'm sharing them because something like video games, I feel like everybody knows to pick up video games. Everybody and their mom is going after video games. The people in the back, they think these things are made out of you know, Bitcoin, right? They think they're so valuable. You know, Bitcoin it doesn't even make sense. A better example would probably be gold, but right, they think they're so valuable. And it's like, come on, guys, like you're pricing these things twice as much as eBay. So I love video games, but they're a bit harder to come across. Records, this is an area that I don't have much knowledge on, but I have friends of mine who make thousands of dollars flipping records from thrift stores, garage sales, auctions. I don't know much about it, but if you do, definitely look in the record area at your local thrift store. Now you're gonna have a lot of competition, so I was a little hesitant to share, but I don't have a lot of knowledge and I know people make money with this. There's got a lot of collectors that look for them, so definitely keep an eye out for that. The next category is jackets. I love selling jackets on eBay. There's so many different types of jackets. There's current ones, there's vintage ones, there's leather jackets. You know, here's an example of a Nike uh, bomber jacket that sold for $129.99. Now, this thing, there's nothing really special about it. It's brand new with tags, but it's just an example, you know, of a jacket that you can flip. You know, one of my favorite jackets is Pendleton. Now, this is really hard to come across, but some of these things can sell like hotcakes for hundreds of dollars. Go to eBay, search the jackets. A great, great category to get into. I love a lot of the old sporting jackets, anything with names of teams. If it's got a big logo, it's even better. But yeah, jackets can make you a lot of money. Next up from thrift stores, and this is something that a lot of people pass up on, 
and rightfully so, because it takes a lot of space, is furniture, especially vintage furniture. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and share with you the top furniture items to buy and flip, because this is an area that I've chosen not to get into because I like smaller, easier, quick flip items, but there's people who have the knowledge of what's valuable, what's a collector's item, something that's old. You know, me, I can't, you know, I can't tell the difference between a quarter and a dime in comparison to you know, furniture, but there's a lot of furniture out there that can sell. I mean, here's an example of something I found off the sold listings that sold for $125. It's a vintage industrial metal tanker chair. I don't know anything about this. 125 bucks. I see furniture at the thrift store all the time and I'm like, this has gotta be worth something but I just haven't educated myself. So if you're looking for something that can be high profit, maybe high risk as well, something that could be a little annoying but can make you a lot of money, look into the furniture, study up on it. Next up is gonna be scarves. Now scarves is, scarves is an area where again, you're not gonna get rich, you're not gonna be making thousands of dollars a month, but why not boost your sales an extra couple hundred dollars a month by looking into the scarf section? I mean, just recently I flipped a Burberry scarf that was 100% cashmere for over $100. And here's another example that I found of one that's 100% authentic. And again, make sure these things are real. I've done videos on this in the past and there's a lot of stuff on Google. You can study it up to tell if something's real or fake or counterfeit or bootlegged. You wanna make sure when you start getting into higher end clothing and brands like this that it is real, especially with purses, which is another great niche that I didn't cover. You wanna make sure it's real, but this sold for $180 right here. And again, if you just go to eBay, type in scarves, scroll all the way down. I like to go pre-owned and then I like to hit sold. You can check out all the different scarves that are selling. Now, a lot of them are gonna sell for 10, 15, 20, 30 bucks, but again, you could find those hot selling, fast flipping, high profit scarves like Burberry that can make a lot of money. I like to look for the high end Italian brands. A lot of the brands that do well for dress shirts are gonna also do well with scarves if they make them. So be on the lookout for that. And last but not least, least hopefully you guys are getting a lot of value out of this. Make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already are mugs. Now again, this is another kind of small niche down category, but I love flipping mugs. I don't do them all the time. I like to look for the, uh, the city mugs or the country mugs um, that are made within Starbucks. They can flip for a lot of money, but go to eBay and check out best mugs to sell on eBay. Actually go to my YouTube channel. I've got some videos about that. Mugs, surprisingly, they're a little annoying to store and ship and they're, they're fragile, but a lot of these mugs can flip for really good money and the competition is low. So those are not my five, those are not my 10, those are not my 15, those are my top 20 niches to be on the lookout for when you go to thrift stores. There's no excuse to walk out of a thrift store empty handed. Now I know prices are rising, there's more competition, but a lot of that is a limiting belief because even though what I had mentioned is true, there's still so many opportunities and products that fall through the cracks, employees misprice them, competitors pass over, competitors don't think they're profitable. There's plenty of money to make a profit selling on eBay and you can do it part-time, you can do it full-time. So hopefully my seven years of experience has been able to help you in these you know, 24, 25 minutes that I'm with you. If you enjoyed this video and you found value in it, please smash that like button and remember, this video is not about you finding every single item I shared or diving deep into every category. It's about finding one, two, or maybe three categories that you wanna dive deeper into. Three categories you could be on the lookout for because that's the key to making money on eBay, especially if you wanna build a full-time business, is you wanna to start to recognize, oh, okay, I know that some ties are profitable. Oh, okay, I know that some mugs are profitable. Oh, okay, I know maybe I gotta keep an eye out for the electronics. And then when you find things, look them up and dive deep, study them, become a master, spend time in the sold listings. That's how you're gonna build a full-time business on eBay because it really comes down to three things to build a full-time business on eBay. It's one, source, being able to find these items, recognize them. Two, being able to list them, consistently list them and avoid the death piles. And three, fulfilling your items, shipping them out and creating a great customer experience. Those are the keys to building a full-time business. It's pretty simple. But the first thing is you gotta be able to recognize and find them and source them at a good price. So hopefully you found value in this video. If you did, smash that like button. Check the links down below. I've got a bunch of guides on toys, selling clothing, things that I've built over the last seven years. They're all updated. I've got a ton of videos on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And hopefully this was the one-stop shop for the video. 
that was able to help you, especially if you're new or if you're trying to take your business to the next level. So I appreciate the love. Thank you so much for allowing me to make this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.